Hey there, Kimberly here with Knit for Brains. Coming to you from Portland, Oregon today on our electric road trip. So as you know, we've been doing this road trip from San Diego all the way up to Seattle, and now we're on our way back down. A little bit slower, but you know, we're heading down there. So today, I wanted to find a yarn store or something that I really felt like spoke to the spirit of Portland. If you haven't been to Portland, Oregon, they're really into reuse, recycle, um, you know, just that whole reuse frame of mind. And uh, so I did find some local yarn stores, but you know, some that were kind of like not in the area and a lot of things are closed on Tuesdays. I don't know what's up with that. We tried to see a lot of things today in town. Everything was closed on Tuesday. Um, but one place I did find, and it was so unique. I have never found a store like this before, although according to one of the associates in the store, she said that large, large cities have these like on the outskirts. So I'm going to have to do a little bit more investigative research. But the store that I found was so cool. It's called Scrap PDX. And the idea behind it is brilliant. Like I said, I've never heard of anything like this before, but they're all about creative reuse. Now, the store again is in Portland, Oregon, but according to their card, it says our mission is to inspire creative reuse and environmentally sustainable behavior by providing educational programs and affordable materials to the community. So what does that mean? Let's say that you've done a project and you've got some skeins of yarn left and you don't really want to make a scrap project um, and you need to, you want to just donate your yarn somewhere. You can donate to a Goodwill, but instead of like putting it in a landfill, you take it to a place like this. And what they do is with yarns, they clean it. They actually freeze the yarn to kill any little hitchhikers that you might have. Um, make sure that it's nice and clean as best they can. And then they sell it back to the, the public at pennies on the dollar. Let's say in another instance that you want to try a new craft. Maybe it's knitting or crocheting or weaving or paper mache or something like that, but you don't want to invest a lot of money in all the tools until you really decide whether you like it. You can come to a place like this and you can get like half a skein of yarn or some plastic bobbles or glass beads or dishes that you can break up. I mean, there were so many things. You'll see them all here in this, in the video that I took of all these like craft things that you can get at pennies on the dollar, right? And what a great way to share your spirit. Let's say that you got a kid who's in school and they're like, hey mom, I gotta do this creative project. And you don't wanna go out and spend $100 on getting all the supplies to make a one-time project. You go to a place like this and you get everything you need and some really great ideas for pennies on the dollar. So of course I went in looking for yarn and here's what I found. I was very excited. Now you all might also know that I do a lot of weaving. I found this partially used cone, cone we call them, right? I'm not really a skein of weaving yarn. Now this, and you can see there's quite a bit left on here, really a lot, $8. Okay, so someone did a project and decided I'm done. I don't want any more of this. And they turned it and they donate, you donate it to the center and then they in turn uh, sell it back and then all the proceeds go back to supporting the community and the creative efforts. There was actually a classroom in the back of the store where you could learn different crafts and, and different types of, of um, creative ideas and different kinds of craft projects for you and or your children in the back. So I got this guy for eight bucks. Okay, now that's a lot. I can actually do a great weaving project, maybe even make some towels with this you know, cone that's left, eight dollars. I also found this skein. Now I know this yarn in particular. As a matter of fact, I have this back at home. This is a Knit Picks 100% wool sock weight yarn. And I got this whole skein, which is pretty much like a full skein for like four bucks. Here's where some of the really cool deals came on. So I found, because I couldn't, I thought they were adorable. Little Christmas cards, normally $16. I got them for $2. And it's a full set of, of cards in here. I think it comes with like, eight cards and there's eight cards in here. Okay, $2, normally 16. Here's where the really exciting stuff comes in. They also have a bunch of like um, needle craft or cross stitch or yarn, uh, knitting or crochet, pretty much every kind of craft you can imagine. They have old books. So maybe somebody um, decides like, I'm done, I'm moving, I don't want any of this stuff, you bring all your books to it. 
This particular book here, Stitch and Bitch, if you haven't heard of them, this is a great series, super fun crocheting and or I think it's mostly knitting, but they have some crochet as well. Really fun, funky, kind of artsy projects. This is the second book in her um, series. I have the first one that I paid $19.95 for. This book would have wholesaled at $15.95. I got it for $3. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with the book is absolutely fine. I mean, it looks like it's actually never been looked at, but there's a whole bunch of really great little knitting and crochet projects in here and here as well, along with the patterns. Additionally, now you all know how much I love Noro yarn. You're welcome. So Noro Yarn, they make these really great magazines and they put them out every season, right? And it talks about the yarns of the du jour, right? Of what they're really putting at that particular moment. So it's really kind of focused on those specific yarns. Um, so these are issues from, I think, 2016. I think the oldest was 2013. These go normally for $10 a piece. I got them for 25 cents a piece. 25 cents a piece! friends and all the patterns everything you want is they have all the pictures just like a regular knitting magazine and then here in the very back you're gonna have all of your patterns okay and this is a very popular Noro yarn pattern by the way so I got I was able to get all four I grabbed everything I could find so I got four magazines at 25 cents a pop 25 cents a pop people and lastly um, my mom is really big on like painting rocks that's her new um, her new passion her new thing so I found this really interesting book on painted flowers and it has a whole bunch of different now this is an old antique book right and I got this for 50 cents so if mom if you're looking it's not about how much I paid it's about how much I love you but it's you can do all these really cute little fun craft and ideas and things like that on wood, she likes to paint on rocks, but it has um, the diagrams that you need to see, such like so. So I think she's really gonna get a lot of use out of this. 50 cents, I paid 50 cents for this. And lastly, I got this book here, and this is Knit Afghans of Many Colors. Um, this is American School of Needlework, so you know it's gonna be really good patterns. Just some fun, maybe you want to call them vintage. They had some really great like vintage sewing patterns and things like that. But what a great place. Like I said, if you're just not really sure if you want to dive 100% into a new craft, what a great idea just to come and kind of dip your toes in the water. I also got some original art, which I love, which you'll see. I think you I show them in the video. You might see them when I put them up in the new place. Um two dollars and one I think I got for 25 cents I love them I'm gonna hang them up in my craft room and I'm gonna be very very happy so okay I might have found one of the coolest places I've ever seen and maybe you've known about these I've never heard of it this is called a scrap creative reuse center and we're at um, scrap PDX we're in Portland and what this is, is you can take in your old scraps or crafts or balls of yarn or remit, remnants or whatever and donate them here. So instead of it going into a landfill, it gets to come where someplace like this. So let's say that you've like finished a craft and you got a bunch of odds and ends and you don't really know what to do with them. Bring them to a place like this. Apparently all the, large, all the major cities have them. If you like just kind of want to start getting into a craft, but maybe you don't want to get into it too seriously or really have it take, you, take over, then come here and try stuff out. So we're going to take a look around. They do have some yarns. I'm going to check it out. They got some patterns. So I'm going to show you around the store and then I'll give you some more information in just a bit. So here we got some specialty items, you know, notions and little stars, little glitter stars, sewing needles, mending materials, like everything you could possibly need. This is this really awesome piece of art that was created. Love it. So we've got some notions, some thread cones, if you're into weaving, some zippers. These are awesome. So if you're doing like the tin up purses or the little creative purses, you can pick up some, pick up some zippers here. Here's some vintage lace. 
Look at these pretty little doilies you can make things with. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Look at that. I have never seen a place like this before. I have no idea. So cool. So here's some Afghan scraps. You could make some really cool stuff out of this. And these are five dollars. Batting for quilting. Crochet threads. Ah. So these could be interesting because you know we can use these for sweaters, clothing, different things like that. Fancy elastic, because everybody needs some fancy elastics. Tons of old patterns. How cool. I think my mother even made one of these for me. For sure, I think she did. Look at that. Log cabin quilts. Okay, looks like here we're getting into some yarns. Other people's projects. Okay, here we got some really great old time books. This is a great book, by the way. Oh, I do like Stitch and Bitch. We'll take a look at this and see. Hi. Hi. Okay, this is a must for my collection. Gotta definitely take that one. I found some really great books already. Here we got some yarns. If you're into weaving, we got a full selection of some weaving, some little yarns and notions. Circular knitting needles right there. Yarn grab bags. If you just need a little, like if you're making a project and you just need a little something or something, what a great idea. I gotta check and see if we've got more of these stores around because this is so awesome. Here's more stuff. Here, take a look. So here we got some yarn scraps up in here. Some cool videos. Let's see. Sock techniques. Here's knits. Here's some really just interesting little granny squares. Partially completed. Super fun idea. There's all kinds of books and patterns. Let's see what we got over here in the yarn sections. That's interesting. Wow, look at this. Eight dollars. If you're into weaving, this is quite a find. Ten dollars for this cone up here. This cone, that's huge. Oh. <clears throat> this is a really pretty color. Some of this is definitely going home with me today. The Brit's sitting in the car. I think he's learned by now. We don't come into places like this. But he's so wonderful just to sit and wait for me, too. Look in there. If you just need a little something, something, this is such a cool idea.
Okay. And there's a disclaimer that says that they do everything they can to remove like contaminated yarn, so that's good. We like that. That's nice. And then here we got some more pattern books in here. Let's see what we can find. Let's see what we can find. Wait. Wait, this. I don't know what that is, but it's way cool, right? All right, let's go take a look back here. Again, more sewing, knitting books. I don't know how big some of the other places are. This one looks pretty big to me. Here we've got some framing, some mats. If you just need to be finding this great print, you just want to frame it and you don't want to spend a grip. Here's we got some fabric and donations back in here. This is more just like your crafts. Here's some rocks and some seashells. Right? Need an emotional support rock. 10 cents each. But he needs an emotional support rock. You got your kids that need to do a project for school. Bring them into a place like this and let them at it. Here's some cool pouches. Here's some scrap wood. Oh, maybe some of you run into like thrifting. But, you know, you just might find yourself a really cool treasure in a place like this. And maybe you just don't want to spend a bunch of money. Or maybe you just want to try something new, like I said, but you don't want to commit a whole bunch of money and space. I mean, there's paper, if you do a scrapbooking, pretty much any kind of scrap that you can think of, you can do. Just take a look at the size of this. Look at that. It's massive. Absolutely massive. And there's even a little crafting scrap classroom if you want to be learning something new. Scrap education studio. I love that. Oh, clear glass, broken pottery. Anything you can think of, I think you can find in a place like this. Here's some stamps if you're into stamping. Paper. I am super excited with my little finds. Old postcards. Love these. That's adorable. Lastly, let's go over into this area. We got some more paper. Here, if you want to make a plastic ocean. So we got some really cool recycling materials. Great way to teach your kids about recycling. Here's some bubble wrap, right? Look at how cute. Everything's all colored. It's really organized. Look at these with film projectors and ribbons. I love it. This is all plastics. What a great way to show, to teach reusing plastics. Here's more reuse. There's ribbons. Okay, check this out. This is original art. I love this, right? I can totally find a place in my space, my creative space. And then look at this one. I know, I know. Y'all might think I'm a little strange, but I love it. I love the colors. I think, I think we might be done, but I love, absolutely love this treasure. What a wonderful idea these places are. 
once again, I don't know if your neighborhood has something like this. Maybe you should look into it. Um, the organization is called Scrap Creative reuse.org scrap creative reuse.org so if you go to the website I'm going to include it down below you can look and see if there's something in your area so it's sort of like your goodwill or your thrift store but only for crafts and I thought you know this really kind of speaks to the whole spirit of of Portland of this whole area where it's like you know create and reuse and recycle and re-up as they call it um, so a little bit different today than your typical LYS store. And of course, we've got several more days left on our trip. So I'm going to try to find another one or two or more. Um, but I was just really fascinated with this particular store. Now, there was a couple stores here in town that did look really interesting. I just didn't get a chance to stop in to see them. But I'm going to include the website and the listings here below. So you can check them out as well. They're going to have um, online presence. There's one store that the girl, one of the girls in um, Scrap PDX said was great. And they sell nothing but used books and used yarn. So again, half a skein here and there. I just didn't get a chance to stop in. And unfortunately, in a really weird kind of random way, a lot of stuff is closed on Tuesdays. I'm not really sure why. Anyways, take a look here at the video of uh, inside the Scraps PDX store and see what you think. And let me know your thoughts. Would you venture into a store like this would you be a little bit nervous um i was a little bit tentative in the beginning i have to be honest with you because it's not you know as pretty and pristine and showy and glamorous as some of the yarn stores that we've been into uh, but i felt really good about shopping in there and again i mean i got some great great products here and then these Nora books so i spent for everything that you saw plus the two original art pieces downstairs so all of this let's see if i can put it together for you all of this and the two original art pieces, $21, which I have to tell you is a lot less than what I spent on any of the one skates in the other stores. So if you have one of these in your, in your neighborhood, give them some love, give them a try because you know, you're kind of helping the environment, helping the cause and you know, helping your pocketbook at the same time. So again, this is Kimberly with Knit for Brains. This is our LYS, our local yarn store podcast as we travel up and down. Now we're heading back home. So we are in Portland. Uh, we're going to be heading down to some other parts in, in Oregon, Southern Oregon, Ashland, Oregon. Then we're going to be going into Northern California, Redding, California, Sacramento, Monterey, and then heading down into Paso Robles. So if you know of any stores in the area as we're heading down through those, those specific cities, let me know. Comment below and I'll certainly try to hook them up. Um, stop in, give them some love, as we say, and uh, just thank them for, you know, hanging around and give them some support as we come out of the backside of um, COVID. Thanks, for, for, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon.